of course. No, you didn't, Dr. Mike. I donated over $100,000 to Ryan Trahan for Feeding America, and I get to choose this tattoo. Well, you're gonna get to choose this tattoo. And we're actually gonna talk to Ryan, see what he's up to, see how the Penny Challenge is coming along. Let's watch some Ryan Trahan content. Be woo! 50 hours starts now. 50 hours in darkness. That's serious. It is completely dark in this house. Blackout curtains, all of the lights have been covered up. The way your body adapts to darkness is by allowing your iris to relax the muscle surrounding your pupil. Opens it up right there. Your pupil's wide, allows maximum light to come in. Remember, it's the rods in your eyes that are responsible for night vision, darkness vision. But if you wanna have perfect adaptation to darkness, it takes a few hours. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be an injury. He needs a doctor. I'm here for you, Ryan. As you guys know, uh, let's take no days off around here. Working out in the dark is not medically recommended. That could potentially cause a lot of injuries. See, I wouldn't do this with weights. I would just do the like body weight exercises. Push-ups, crunches, squats, lunges, that sort of thing. Nighttime routine. <laughs> Haley actually got me a bunch of new skincare, so I look forward to my nighttime routine. How did he know that was his toothpaste? Something about that is fishy. If you have a, a nighttime bag with a bunch of creams and stuff, how'd you know that was toothpaste? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> That's facial cleanser. How did he know that that was facial cleanser? The security camera caught me at 3 a.m. I don't remember. Oh, sleepwalking. That's funny. This is actually fairly common. Not eating five bags of fruit snacks. Sleepwalking happens during the non-REM phase of your sleep. It usually happens an hour or two in. It's one of the deepest, it's the deepest stage of your sleep. People don't remember it. Usually someone else has to alert them that it's happening. And studies show like one in two people get injured sleepwalking. Could be a minor injury, but they still do get injured. You wanna make sure that if that's happening, you figure out the underlying reason as to why. Stress is one of the leading factors. Right about now is when time just completely stopped being a thing for me. So not having exposure to light can actually break your circadian rhythm, your natural circadian rhythm of when you wake up, when you go to sleep, because there's sensors in your brain, your eye, that get triggered by light entering. So that's why I always say that one of the first things you should do in the morning upon waking is opening shades, getting bright light. And I know not every area in the world has access to that. So you could fake it with some artificial light. Testing if I'm still lactose intolerant. Oh, this is gonna be a brutal test. You know, it's funny, a lot of patients will come see me in the hospital and be like, am I lactose intolerant? I'm like, if you drink a quart of milk, do you have massive diarrhea? <laughs> that's your answer. I plowed a slice of cheese and then I ate yogurt and butter and cream cheese. And I remembered I didn't Why even like he doing it. And finally demolished a cup of milk. No, we wait. I was waiting for about 30 minutes when the unimaginable happened. I sprinted to the bathroom and my chihuahua was sitting on the toilet. That's a chihuahua? That's a hairy chihuahua. And I'm still lactose intolerant. Yeah, that's a lot of diarrhea. Can only imagine the sounds that came out of that bathroom. Do you overcome a lactose intolerance? Some individuals can eat certain uh, dairy products. Some can drink milk uh, lactate, and some can take supplements, uh, like a lactase supplement. Uh, doesn't work for everybody, though. I don't think you realize how crazy the world's quietest room really is. Apparently, 30 minutes inside will drive you completely insane. I've never learned that in medical school. For reference, a school cafeteria is roughly 100 decibels. A football game, 125 decibels. That's really loud. And the world's quietest room uh, must be so, so quiet. It's negative 9 decibels. How do they pull out decibels? What you'll begin to experience right away is the sounds of your ears. When you're in super quiet, you begin to hear buzzes and whooshes. Blood flow. By a half an hour, you'll hear your heart easily. You'll hear your ears getting louder. You can hear the joints in your arms and legs. So far, I've heard all the things he's mentioned, but now I think I'm hearing blood flowing to my brain. That happens. What do you think would be harder? One hour in the world's quietest room or one hour in the world's loudest room? The world's loudest room? Why would you do that? You're gonna hurt your hearing. The reverb room reflects each note and distorts it so much that the music eventually just becomes an awful, never-ending screeching noise. Wow, that's cool. A reverb room is a room that's pretty close to 100% reflective, and so no matter where you are in a reverb room, it doesn't get any louder or any quieter. It's a perfectly diffuse room, which means the sound is the same everywhere. That's terrible, he's gonna lose his oh hearing. Oh my gosh. You could permanently damage your hearing like that. I just damaged my ears. 
Can noise make a dude die? Yeah, it can. Apparently, the European Space Agency has a, a sound weapon that if they wanted to, could it, it could put you in a coffin. Well, there's LRAD devices that are used for crowd control purposes. It, it does make people physiologically ill. I just put on this sauna suit. I am drenched. Well, people use sauna suits for cutting weight, specifically wrestling, boxing, MMA, that sort of thing. Not a huge fan of it. In fact, I wish the sports would change the way the weigh-ins are done to be done on the same day so people don't cut weight. I'm going to be wearing this for 24 hours straight. I live in Texas. That sun right there? Absolutely. Oh, that's dangerous. You could easily not only dehydrate, but develop heat stroke, which heat stroke is deadly, like legitimately deadly. Is it a 24 hour match? Yeah. Have you consulted a doctor? Haley, I called the doctor. I'm right here, bro. Just call me. Dr. Mike. The what doctor's up? on call. I need to ask you what you think of this, all right? I'm feeling the outfit. It, it looks fire. Is that the new Versace line? <laughs> the worst joke ever. How did I think that was funny? That's clearly Gucci. Medically, it's not safe. Oh dear. Because unlike going into a sauna where you sweat and your sweat can actually evaporate thereby cool you off, yeah. Yeah. that sauna suit will prevent the cooling off process. That guy knows what he's talking about. So you will sweat, you will be dehydrated, you would lose some electrolytes, and you will overheat. You better go get some water, huh? Not just water, electrolytes. I lift up my arm and a massive pool of sweat trickles down, down my armpit and into my nether region. Fungus! I've went in a sensory deprivation tank and did a whole video on this. It's silent, it's dark, and you're floating. It kind of feels like an alien movie. I'm gonna be doing the maximum legal time in this thing, three hours. One with no gravity, one with no gravity or light, and one with no gravity, light, or sound. Complete sensory deprivation, which apparently can have some side effects. Yeah, those things can happen. <laughs> There's a lot of good effects as well that can happen. I will say go into these sensory deprivation things. My biggest issue with them is that they make way too many promises as if they're certified. One hour in a sensory deprivation tank is equivalent to X number of years of meditating, which is nonsense. Making promises about rejuvenating one's immune system or sleep cycle. Like taking a break from your phone is beneficial. Being alone with your thoughts is beneficial, but making crazy health promises, Mm, too far. You guys know I can't swim, really. Well, I can't float either. I am negative buoyant somehow. So these pools have tons of salt, like 2,500 pounds of salt. And salt makes you float. It does make you float. Um, it also makes it a problem if your eyes get, if the water gets into your eyes. They usually give you like a little floating pillow as well. And I remember the one that I went to had like an emergency escape button to call for help. Around two hours and four minutes-ish is where something actually crazy happened. I really feel like my mind was the only thing working at this point. I suddenly felt like I infiltrated this memory that that I haven't thought of in years because I felt so still. Well, for me, I had a similar experience that I would start like seeing different colors and brainstorming much further than I usually do. This was my body while running 80 miles per week and eating 3,000 calories a day. Yo, my man is ripped and he's running 80 miles a week? This was my body while only lifting weights and eating 4,000 calories a day. Well, yeah, if you eat a lot of calories and only lift weights, that could be a problem. I mean, it depends what kind of calories you're consuming. Remember, macronutrients matter here. I wanted to know what would happen if I only do bodyweight workouts in virtual reality. Yeah, VR, for 30 days while on a strict diet of 2,000 daily calories and a goal of having fun. Well, that's an important goal because when you're trying to change your body, if you're not having fun, it's going to be temporary. You want to develop good habits here. It's day one and it's time for weigh-in. All right, here we go. See, 157.7. Ideally, you want to do that in the morning with no clothes on to get the most accurate measurement after it, you've peed and pooped. Oh my God, dude, oh, is this, what the? Is this Beat Saber? <laughs> Oh, oh, this God. is giving me a headache. What the heck is this? By the way, I've played these VR games. I get so dizzy. This is actually so scary. What's up, bud? Get back. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are we going to have Ryan Trahan on Creator Clash 2? Day 12, he's eating a burger. Out of everything, the diet is the hardest part. Diet is the hardest part, and it's the most important part when changing how you look. Oh my gosh, 150 flat. So here's the before and after. Honestly, mm. I would give most of the credit to my transformation to the diet. Of course, you cut down from eating 4,000 to 2,000. That makes sense. This is a penny. One penny challenge time. And I'm gonna use it to cross America in the next 30 days. And he's coming to see Jimmy. Rule number one, all profit must come from the penny. All power must come from the penny. Big overarching goal for this series is to raise a million meals with Feeding America. He does it. We did it. <laughs>
I look like Mr. Krabs. My man got sunburned already. Put some sunblock on, dude. Even if you use sunburns throughout your lifetime, increases risk for skin cancer. You're out in the sun, put on sunblock, Ryan. I'm only yelling because I care about your health and I don't want you to get skin cancer. By the way, sunblock is not the number one protection against the sun, it's shade. <laughs> But if you want to donate the incentives, this, 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 this. Yeah! <laughs> Hundred dollars. <thousand>. McDonald's. <laughs> I'm going to treat myself to a deluxe breakfast this morning. Well, see, this is like the unfortunate reality of the United States. Like, if you want to save money, eat cheap. You oftentimes have to eat unhealthy. Chipotle. Oh, I love Chipotle. Oh, my God. I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. By the way, something I never say, um, and I probably should, Chipotle always hooks up my graduating residents for their party with like a catered Chipotle meal for free, because that's awesome of them. I'm gonna take a break and eat a burrito. My order is usually a burrito bowl. Brown rice, black beans, chicken, fajita vegetables, romaine lettuce, the non-spicy tomato thingy. What is it called? Salsa? Oh, and guac. McDouble, maybe? McDouble, maybe. Okay. Cool. Can I just get that with uh, cheese and ketchup only? This is not a healthy way to eat. Please find healthier ways to eat, Ryan. I care about your health. We need the veggies. We need the veggies. Can I get two McChickens with no vegetables? No vegetables? You're going to pay for that. Oh, with white rice, chicken, and shredded cheese. Uh, white rice, chicken, and cheese. Dude, fiber. There's veggies right there. They're fresh. They don't even cost extra. We're going to get Ryan to eat some veggies. You know. So last night before bed, I went to Ralph's. I went to a grocery store and we got goldfish, rainbow goldfish, protein bars. What kind of protein bars are those? <laughs> Fudge gram? A lot of sugar alcohols in those bad boys. Or like some kind of artificial sweeteners leading to terrible diarrhea. What a sugar alcohol is, just so people understand. It tastes like sugar, similar to sugar in that it's sweet, but then your body can't absorb it. So if you don't absorb it, those large molecules hang out in your intestines and then through osmotic pressure, suck in water. And then as a result, you have lots of diarrhea. Did he just order tuna and rice? Oh, yeah. How is that the solution to his issue? Hey, yo, tuna and rice, Jay. Can you at least get a fruit, bro? Just for God's sakes, eat a berry. The one penny man himself. What's up, buddy? Dr. Mike, you're amazing, dude. No, you're dude, incredible. you're amazing. And you're looking a little bit disheveled, I gotta say. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> I'm delivering burritos on the highway. I hope you're being careful, because, you know, I like, am. as a doctor, I have to preach safety here for you. <laughs> I found a bike lane. We're good. How is the journey so far? It's been the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. It's day 19 right now, but it's been so fun. So rewarding. Can't believe the generosity that I've seen. It's been so inspiring. My heart is so full right now. Dude, you had a goal of 100,000 and now you've already crushed that goal. What's the new goal? You have to have a new goal in mind. New goal is a million dollars. I think you're pretty close. I think you're like very close to that, aren't you? We're getting there. We're getting there. It's very realistic, which is insane at this point. I will say, watching your vlog, I was a little bit upset and nervous for you at the same time. A, what's going on with the veggies, man? You don't <laughs> like veggies? I don't like vegetables. I have to I have to take like supplements for vitamins because I don't I don't eat many vegetables. The natural form is better, man. Like, uh, well, okay, I, I won't I won't harp too hard on the veggies thing, and you'll see why in, in a in a minute or so. Uh, but the next thing is I gotta get you to wear sunblock because in that first video you got burned. I hope you're wearing sunblock now. I got some. I got some, Dr. Mike. But you must be getting into ridiculous shape. You're biking every day for how many hours? My, I have an aura ring that's tracking my, my daily calorie input, and I'm hitting like 4,500 calories burned a day, which is insane. 20 miles of walking, 25 miles of biking a day. It's gnarly. I know that the perk of donating over $100,000 was that you will be willing to get a tattoo done by that person's choice of tattoo. That's right. And to make it interesting, uh, I've come up with four options for you. Ooh, okay. Those options are not really for you. Those four options are for the fans to choose. Oh. And I'm gonna put up a poll of the four options, but I will give you an opportunity right now to sway the vote in any way that you want it to go. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you ready to hear the four options? I'm so ready, Dr. Mike. Option number one, this is the most heartfelt one. You will get tattooed on your body a QR code that anyone can scan and donate to the charity of your choice at any time. That's amazing. I actually like that. That's not bad at all. Number two, this one is personal to me. 
and it's some piece of advice that is not only good for you especially, but also for the rest of the world. Eat your veggies. <laughs> So you're gonna get a tattoo that says, eat your veggies. That's amazing, okay. okay. To help remind you and remind the world how important it is to eat vegetables. Yeah, I think so. I need, I need to see that on my body every morning. <laughs> <laughs> this one is in memory of the penny challenge with the goal of your penny challenge all in one. Option three, what do you think about that? Oh my gosh, please no. <laughs> I really hope it's not that one. We've redesigned the penny to say in subs we trust with good old Jimmy on the penny. Oh gosh, that's so funny. Getting Mr. Beast on my body forever. How would you feel about that? How'd you feel if you had to rock that? Less excited about than the others. And the next one is one that is kind of evil. You're not gonna like this one. Oh no. But if your fans are very angry, they might give you this one. Okay. We kind of gave you a basic tattoo idea. One that incorporates everything that you've seen in every basic tattoo ever. And this was actually hand drawn by Call Me Chris of TikTok fame and YouTube fame. Call Amazing. Live, laugh, love to infinity with the dolphin and the butterfly wings. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> hilarious. That's, that might be one of the best ones. Wait, no way, you like this one? I thought you would hate this. I'm, I'm goofy with it. I think that's hilarious. Which one do you want people to vote for? I desperately want for everyone, because of my health in the future, eat your veggies. That'd be a great, that'd be a great one for me. I would okay. get the reminder daily and I might actually start eating them. You heard it here <laughs> from Ryan himself, the one penny man, but we'll see what the audience decides. Amazing, Dr. Mike, let me know. I love you so much. Thank you for the generosity. This is so exciting. Of course, man. Good luck. Most importantly, please stay safe out there. We want yes. you in one piece, especially with all the good that you're doing. Thank you, man. Be well. Awesome. Thanks, Dr. Mike. Take care. Right. Talk soon. Bye. Remember, you get to choose Ryan Trahan's tattoo that will live on his body for the rest of his life. The four options are right here. The link is down below to vote. It's basically my Twitter, so you can just head on to my Twitter and vote. Choose if you wanna go with what he wants, you wanna go with what I want, go with what you want. The world is your oyster. Check out also this video where I reacted to some of the most unhealthy, maybe even healthy, Mr. Beast stunts. Click here to check that out, and as always, stay happy and healthy.